Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first Pandas tutorial. So in this tutorial we will talk about creating data frames and reading files via Pandas. So first of all, when we are working with Pandas, we have to import the module Pandas as PD. Now imagine you have a list of employees which you want to store in a data frame. Okay, so we have the employees Smith, Cavalier, Hopkins and Brody. To create a data frame Pandas, First, you have to name the data frame, which we are calling DF, abbreviated for data frame. But you can call it whatever you like. You can call it DF employees or whatsoever. But we are calling it DF. And now we are using pd.dataframe. And now we are taking the list in parentheses. And we are running this and taking a look at this data frame now. So what we are seeing here is that we have those index values here, which are the numeration of the rows in this data frame. And what we unfortunately also see is that pandas didn't amend the column. So we have to do it manually. How can we do so? By defining a column in this data frame line, which we are calling columns equals two and then we're naming it as employee and we are executing this again and we're getting this pretty nice data frame right now imagine you got the following list which you want to add to the data frame so you are you you got provided the working times of those employees here so you want to append it here well how can you add columns to data frames? It's pretty easy. You just type in the name of the data frame, which was df, as we defined here. And then you're opening the bracket and type in the name of the new column, which we are calling working time. And we're defining just our data here, which is our list with the working times, right? Now let's execute this and take a look at the data frame. So pretty nice. We got two columns here, employee and working time, and we got columns and rows here, so pretty nice. But pretty inconvenient to do so. We did like three steps for getting this data frame. You can do all this in one step, and this is what I'm showing right now. So imagine you are creating, you are starting from scratch again. So you, you define a data frame, which you're calling df again. Now we're using the, the exact same syntax, pd.dataframe. And now we are using the parentheses and then a curly bracket where we define the name of the column. Then we use a, column, a colon and then we are defining the actual data, which is our list with the employees from above. So this one here. Comma. And then you're defining the next column name, which is working time colon and then the actual data working time which is defined here right and let's execute this and see if we are getting what we want and as you see here we're getting a data frame with the columns employees and working time and uh, pandas did everything for us then an index here and yeah that's pretty awesome right just as a side note um, you might think, okay, I'm remembering this is like a dictionary, right? Yes, it is. With the special case that we have a key value here and we have a list for the values, which you know as single values here. But what I want to show you here is you can actually use dictionaries for creating data frames and it works pretty nice and it's working actually pretty easier as this procedure which we were doing before. What doesn't mean that you don't need this procedure because you might have created a data frame out of some data and then you want to add another column. Of course, the same syntax as I'm showing you here is holding, right? So nevertheless, let's read files via pandas. So first of all, let us take a look at the file which I want to read in. So imagine you have this file, which is a CSV file. I call it CSV underscore example, right? So, and what we see here is our heading line, which is company, field, and salary. And these are the values which are in these, yeah, 
columns. So you have lines separated by commas and you have uh, rows which are also separated by commas. So in Excel, which you don't have to know, I am just uh, want to show you, if you want to do it uh, in a more meaningful way, you can depict it like this. So you, you have a, already a data frame here, right? So, but this is not what I want to show you, just to show you that um, this is the syntax in, in Excel, but the most files are stored in this fashion here. So we have comma separated values. And this is what we want to read in via pandas. So we are reading in this file here. Now let's go back and read this file. And th that's pretty much pretty easy. So we are just defining df and I'm calling it df underscore csv. And we are just saying pd dot read underscore csv. And then we are defining the file name here. If your script is running in the same direction as the file, it's enough to just specify the file name. But if the file is in another direction on your PC, uh, then the running script, then you have to specify the whole um, path here. So it could be like um, user and then your name and then desktop, for example, and then um, your, your uh, file name. Of course, you have to uh, um, do it all in quotation marks right here. So this could be your syntax if you want to try it out. Now let's take a look what pandas did, right? So as we see here, and that's the powerful and awesome thing. Pandas did everything what we want to know. So we have the row numbers, we have the column names, and we have the entries in the right place. So pretty awesome, pretty nice. I'm a big fan of pandas. So you might ask, okay, why shouldn't I just use the Python built-in function? Because I have heard that Python can read files as CSVs and text files as well. Well, I'm showing you why this is in fact right, but not a really convenient way. So let's open. So this is the Python built-in function for opening files. And we're opening the exact same file. So now let's read this by file.read and actually execute this. And as you see, we are getting this messy output here. So we are actually getting the data, but you see what, what is this n, by the way, it's for next line. And what are these commas? You don't have an overview. So if you compare this with that one here, the, the difference should be clear, right? Um, what doesn't mean that the, the built-in function for reading files in Python is not powerful because you can do a, a, um, amendments in files really fast with loops and something like that. If you want to um, have, a, have a tutorial on the built-in function, just drop me a comment. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today for giving you a brief introduction into pandas. And in the next video, we'll dive a bit deeper into pandas and doing some uh, crazy stuff on data frames. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward for seeing you in the next tutorial and have a nice time. Bye bye.